today during phonics, we are going to begin by practicing writing words. So I'm going to write a word. While I'm writing the word, think about what sounds you hear in the words, in the letters that I'm writing. Then we'll tap it out together and read the word. So here is my first word. Think about the makes. Okay, tappers up. Wax. Wax. Is wax a real word or a nonsense word? That's right. Wax is a real word. Wax is something that comes off a candle when it's lit. It can be very hot. Let's try another word. Okay. Okay, toppers up. Qu is quiz. Is quiz a real word or a nonsense word? That's right, quiz is a real word. A quiz is like a short test. We have a quiz every Friday in phonics. Now let's try a word that has a digraph. Because when we're writing sentences, some of our words might have digraphs in the beginning or at the end. So let's try this one. I'll put the digraph at the end. Okay, tappers up. P -a -c. Pack. Is pack a real word or a nonsense word? That's right, pack is a real word. Like you can pack your suitcase or pack your lunch. Remember when we have CK at the end of a word, the vowel that comes before it has to be a short vowel. So a, ah, the A in pack has the A ah sound, which is a short vowel. That helps us remember that at the end we should have our CK digraph. We learned that rule a long time ago, but we need to remember it. Let's try one more word. I think I'm going to do a names. Sometimes people's names are CVC words, and you can tap them. And you'll notice when it says, sometimes we use people's names at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, so I'm going to write someone's name, and this name is going to be a CVC word, so you can tap it out. What we always remember when we write people's names is they always need to be capital. Okay, tappers up. T um Tom. Very good. Tom is a boy's name or a man's name. My dad's name is Tom. Okay, so all of the sight words that we've learned so far. Repeat after Miss Frem. The A and R. Two is his as has was we she he me be I you they or Four of have from. Great job. A good way to review these words would be to write them on your own index cards and practice them at home. Okay, so now we're going to write some sentences. Now we're going to think about what we need to make our sentence correct. Think about what you need at the beginning of the sentence and what you need at the end of the sentence. I'm gonna write a sentence. 
While I'm writing, think about the sounds that each letter makes. Tap out the words in your head. Okay, let's read the sentence together. Tom had a quiz. Great job. Now let's check and see if everything we need to make our sentence correct is here. So do we have a capital at the beginning of our sentence? Yes, we do. Do we have punctuation at the end? Yes, we have a period. Do we have spaces in between our words? Yes, we do. So this sentence is correct. Tom had a quiz. Great job. Now I'm going to write another sentence. Okay, let's read the sentence. The wax is hot. Great job. Let's check and see if we have our capital. Do we have our capital? Yes, we do. Do we have our punctuation? Yes, we do. I'm going to write one last sentence. Okay, let's read the last sentence. Let me fix my eye here. Is Ed on the deck? So let's check and see if we have our capital at the beginning. We definitely have a capital I. And do we have punctuation at the end? Yes, we do. We have a question mark because this is a question. Is Ed on the deck? It's a question. So we end with a question mark. Let's go through our sentences, make sure that we have space in between each word. Looks like we do. Let's keep moving and see if we have space in between each word. Yes, we do. Great job. So when you're writing sentences, we always have to remember, especially on our quiz at the end of the week, that we have our capitals, we have our punctuation, and we need to have our spaces in between our words. Great job. So today, when you're doing your phonics assignment, if you have any questions or comments or need any assistance, please feel free to reach out to your teacher.